everyone in this video we are going to see how to create a mathematical model especially a basic quadratic model which will help IB as well as non IB students to understand and relate mathematics to real life situations so we'll use desmos.com first of all let's log into desmos.com with our Google credentials or Gmail credentials after logging in you see there is a plus button add item press choose option image bring the image you want to model I have two images one is parabolic spoon and the other is banana model which is very common which I took from my kitchen today so let's imp import banana image on desmos.com and adjust the center or else we can keep the center as it is according to you now again press the add button enter table we have to enter at least 10 best fitting x and y values x is the width y is the height so in this case let's start with the first point which is approximately negative 4.1 we can change the you know steps also let's say it will be more easier if we have the step as one so x coordinate is negative 4.2 let's say negative approximately 4.2 and corresponding y is 0 approximately as appropriate then the next point we can mark here is x is negative 3 and corresponding y is uh, or we can mark this one which is more readable x is negative 2.5 negative 2.5 and negative 2.5 and y is negative 1.25 negative 1.25 or negative one negative one at least 10 points and the next point we can say is x is negative one and y is negative 1.5 negative one negative 1.5 then next point we can say is negative um, x is zero x zero and y is negative one point approximately seven i think negative one point seven or we can just adjust negative one point five or negative one point four is more appropriate then we have next point as x is one and y is negative one point two x one y is negative one point two approximately then next point we can see here is x is 1.5 y is negative 1 x is 1.5 and y is approximately negative 1 then x is 2 and y is see from the coordinate plane we can highlight this further if it is not that much clear uh, we can see yeah. so x is 2 here x is 2 and corresponding y is point negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 then x is uh, 2.5 y 0 2.5 y 0 at least 10 points so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 two more points 
so then x is 2 point we can see 2 point, uh, 2.75 2.75 and y is 0 0.5 0 0.5 then we have is x is uh, 2.8 2.8 uh, 2.8 and y is 1 y is 1 so I think we have 10 points now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if we want if we wish any other point can also be one more point from here Let, like x is negative 3.25 and corresponding y is negative 3.25 corresponding y is uh, over here that is uh, 0.5 okay approximately negative 0.6 i guess okay right after this in the next row so table of values in one row image in one row and third row we can assume the image in first row table in second row and then in third row we will enter the quadratic model like this with the parameters y subscript 1 then equivalent sign ax subscript 1 squared plus bx underscore i mean subscript 1 plus c and you can see the parabolic model on your screen well in this case r squared is 92.6 so that means 92.6 percent of the variation in height of my banana is explained by the width of my banana so you can comment on that how well is your model is it a good fit you can answer various questions regarding x-intercepts, regarding y-intercept, axisymmetry, shape and in this way we can yes we can uh, label the axis like press the graph settings width along x-axis as x variable height of the banana as y variable along y axis we can mark the arrows as well so that it looks a better model so you can take the screenshot and then you can use it for your work you can identify various shapes in your in and around our homes in kitchen around our buildings um, bridges very common take the ms upload it on desmos account try to model it and enjoy the beauty of mathematics and its applications in real life i hope you will like this thank you so much